Hey guys, it's Amelia. And yes, yeah, today Amelia me back and I'm to talk about Anio. So I don't know if you guys have seen, but Billie Eilish for the past four years has done this like interview thing, and it's a time capsule, and she answers the exact same interview questions every single year on the exact same day, and Vanity Fair makes a video of it. So I thought that's such a cool idea, and I'm really into the whole time capsule concept. That's why I do a lot of things in my life. So I thought I would make my own. Vanity Fair time capsule interview thing. So I plan to post a video every single year on the exact same day that is an interview. And we'll see how I grow. <laughs> I hope you guys like this. I'm really excited to do this. So <laughs> let's go. I am Amelia and my channel is Amelia Not the Pilot. Amelia Nin Tatongsa Anio. Today is December 7th, 2020. <laughs> so I've actually posted on this channel five years ago. So this is like my five year anniversary. However, today is my one year anniversary of starting to consistently post. But if you look back five years ago, I was posting like, <laughs> dance cover things with my friends from high school and we started this channel together. Um, they don't make K-pop videos anymore, it's just me. But you should check them out because they're pretty cool. My one friend's really, really good at editing, so my dance covers back then have pretty good editing. And we also made this um, shot for shot recreation of the 17 Aju Nice, Nice, Very Nice, whatever that song is called. Um, music video. We recreated it. So you should check that out because we put a lot of work into that. <laughs> I just hit 2,000 followers on YouTube like yesterday or two days ago. So I'm very excited about that. That was my goal for the year. So we did it. I also hit a thousand this year. So that's very crazy. And on Instagram, I have just over a thousand, I think. You should follow me on Instagram. <laughs> It's probably, <laughs> this isn't an artist, but I would say my favorite like album right now is the New Moon album from Twilight. <laughs> I've been listening to it a lot recently. Oh, I read a lot of really good books this year. I really, really liked the um, Grishaverse trilogy series by Leia Bardugo. That was so good. I'm like so pumped about that one. And I also really like the trilogy that's called The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I think both of these women are really, really good writers. And so I'm really excited to read their other stuff. I don't really watch TV, but I guess my favorite show is Crash Landing Into You. Um, which is a K-drama. I don't remember the Korean title right now. It was like, Sarangi Bushijak or something. <laughs> I don't think that's right, but I'll put it here. <laughs> My favorite movie is and will always be Airplane. <laughs> I love that movie so much. But close seconds and thirds, uh, everything Studio Ghibli but specifically Spirited Away and House Moving Castle. Um, all the Harry Potter films and all the Twilight movies. <laughs> and Twilight and New Moon. Not the rest of the series, we don't like them. <laughs> I hope for a lot of things in a year. This year was pretty rough, I feel like, for everybody. So I'm hoping next year, maybe there'll be a vaccine out and people could start returning to a semi-normal life. I hope that maybe we don't have to wear masks all the time <laughs> and that it'd be safe for everyone to just go out in public and see friends again. That's, that's what I mostly hope for. Well, my goals for next year, by next year, I hope to have gotten a Fulbright to South Korea. So that'll be, <laughs> I hope so. If not, I think my goal is 
to have a plane ticket to go to South Korea. <laughs> I want to go in 2022, no matter what. I was pretty lucky this year, so I'm pretty satisfied with what I accomplished. But of course, I always aspire for more. <laughs> I wish I accomplished a better portfolio. I feel like as an art major, you need to have a portfolio. That's like where all your art is to show prospective employers what you can do. And I think my portfolio is pretty bad, but I say that it's a, I blame that on the pandemic because I was really not putting the effort into it and very overwhelmed with everything, but I wish it was better. And I wish I accomplished more like illustration. I really like doing illustration and I rarely do it. It makes me really sad. One thing I have now that I didn't have last year, I have a job <laughs> and a degree. <laughs> I think that's something so cool. I graduated university this year, so I have a BFA, Bachelor of Fine Art for Visual Communications, which is essentially just graphic design. It's just a fancy way of saying it. <laughs> um, and I also was able to get a job in New York, so I commute to New York every day, which is like sort of living my childhood dream. I feel like the pandemic has definitely put things into perspective and family and friends are most important to me. I would say that I definitely talk to and contact my family and friends a lot more now. And I'm really glad that I got into the habit of doing that because of the pandemic. I feel like I didn't really, I don't know, call my grandparents every week. I would call them at like holidays maybe. But now I'm literally calling them at least once a week just to chat because I'm bored. <laughs> My favorite thing this year? Um, I would say reading. I read a lot um, and I read really, really good books this year. I'm really pumped. They were like <laughs> some really good series. So I would say reading was my favorite thing this year. I vaguely learned how to cook. <laughs> uh, since I was in an apartment at school the last two semesters when I was there, I learned how to cook sort of Korean food. So that's pretty cool. That's like all I know how to cook. I can make mac and cheese, grilled cheese, and I attempted to make kimchi jjigae. I attempted to make, oh, what are those called? Naengmyeon? That was a difficult one. <laughs> japchae. I make japchae a lot. And yeah, that was exciting. <laughs> this whole year was a challenge, like for everyone, I feel like. <laughs> but I guess what the most challenging part for me was my graduation was just like, that just it just really sucked um not having like a senior year because it's pretty much my whole last semester was the pandemic i think we had maybe a month and then everything shut down and we had to leave so we never got like a senior week we never got a graduation i think it's like say goodbye to my friends so that sort of sucks <laughs> but people went through much worse so I guess I'm grateful for that I did get to graduate. <laughs> Something I'll remember for the rest of my life. <laughs> this year. <laughs> this is so iconic. Oh man, I just, like, time really didn't exist this year. I literally feel like it's still March. I don't understand how we're in December. I think that's crazy. Um, and everyone wearing masks is crazy and the election was crazy and the political climate in america is crazy and everything that's happening right now is very memorable <laughs> a weird aspiration i guess 
Well, currently I'm trying to read 100 books this year. I'm like almost there, I'm like, like 80 something, so I don't know if it's gonna happen. But I guess for next year, my weird aspiration is to read 50 books, because 100 is just too many <laughs> for a year. I don't know if that's super weird, but that's just like the only thing I can think of right now. Well, I hope you guys like this. I had so much fun doing this. I'm really excited to do this every year. I think those were some pretty good questions, but I might add some more next year, because I'm not sure. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. Bye, just a shock and Bye!